we've seen some of the fastest, high-performance Shelby supercars, the Ultimate Arrow and the other Shelby, the Super Snake. Of course, today's supercar world includes electric power like the Tesla. Back in the 60s, Carroll Shelby stuffed big V8s in a lightweight European chassis and created an American supercar. Today, that formula goes 21st century with state-of-the-art electric technology inside Carroll's 427 body. HST International has just introduced two classic Shelby designs to the electric car market. One, the Tajarda Mustang EVX, and the other, the HST Cobra EVX. When you think of a Cobra, you think of speed. We've taken the Icon 427 Cobra and turned it into an all-electric zero-emission vehicle. You still have the feeling of acceleration, which is what people like in these cars. Drifting and rally driver Lisa Klassen tests the electric Cobra for HST. As a race car driver, I actually like the idea of an electric car. And this is something that could take racing and automotive industry like leaps and bounds ahead of where we are right now. In this car, it's all power, all torque, all the time. So you have 300 horsepower, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque that go 0 to 60 <laughs> in 3.2 seconds, which is right on par with any supercar. Looking at the mother's supercar's exposed stats for the HST Shelby Cobra EVX. It has a top speed of 150 miles an hour. Fully charged, the car has a range of 120 miles and sells for $125,000. It can also do its fair share of drifting. It's okay, I'm a professional. <laughs> Driving an electric car is a completely different experience. For one, you don't have the sound and the vibrations of an actual gas-powered engine. So what happens is you get really in tune with the handling of the car and the suspension. You feel the road. And in a car like the Cobra, you're out in the open, so you get the complete experience with Mother Nature, too. For those who love the classic Cobra Roadsters of the past, the car is stunning. But the street is the ultimate test. And I took the car out for a spin, but didn't get far. It's just not quite got the power it had just a minute ago. I gotta say, I'm a little bit confused by this car. Do you mind if I take a look under the hood? Sure, go ahead. I mean, I have no idea what to expect. I, I, I want to see these brightly colored headers. No. Nope. But yeah. instead, there's a bunch of wires. Okay, we've got <laughs> plugs and green liquid. How much of this car is carbon fiber? Um, the entire shell is carbon fiber. The car actually weighs 2,200 pounds, which is 250 pounds lighter than the actual 427. Is this one uh, nearly as fast as the gas? Oh gosh, yeah. Actually, I think it's a little bit faster in the acceleration since most like electric cars are really faster off the line than gas cars. That's beautiful outside. Let's go for a run. Come on. God, it's like a step back in time and into the future. The, uh, back to the future. All at once. I guess that's the case, huh? You know, I'm kind of getting into, you know, the 60s car, but then to have a 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, this thing is a monster. Yeah, it is. I was, like, really surprised. God, it feels like you need some head support or something <laughs> for that acceleration. <laughs> this thing is very, very fun to drive. And it's kind of a guiltless pleasure, too, because, of course, we're not burning up that $4.30 gas. Exactly. But we are burning daylight still, so you think uh, maybe we could uh, just keep going? It's a beautiful day. Yeah, maybe I'll drive this time. Okay, in a few miles. <laughs> we have now come full circle with the Shelby and electric experience. Modern battery motors in the iconic Shelby Cobra EVX and incredible acceleration in a stealthy Tesla Roadster. The huge power in Shelby Supercar's modern exotic Ultimate Aero boggles the senses, and race-bred supercharged power in the other Shelby, Super Snake, brings the good old Mustang into the supercar realm.